With the new change to Ardeo's magic defense, magic is now a viable option against him. I'm unsure if this means magic is better than range, but one thing's for sure, you can now AFK the boss. How, you might ask? Blood Barrage. As long as you pray melee, stand beside the boss, and Blood Barrage the whole time, you can sit back and auto-retaliate, only needing to keep an eye out for PKers, which can be solved by either having a scout outside, using the Wilderness Player Alarm, or just ice barraging them and escaping. Of course, AFK kills aren't the fastest, with you getting around 40 kills an hour with this method, but this lets you do other things, while making some profit, grinding KC for the pet, or even getting some elite clues assuming you're using an imbued Ring of Wealth, which doubles your drop rate. Now, RDO does have a magic and range attack, but he will never use them as long as you stand beside him. Now, his melees do always hit, but praying will reduce the damage significantly, allowing you to outsustain the damage. Now, a final thing to note is, albeit rare, your HP can dip ultra low, so bringing some hard food is recommended, especially since the boss also drops hard food in return from time to time. Now, of course, this method does have a few requirements on the belt, so let's talk about it real quick. You do want Ancients Unlocked and 92 Magic for Blood Barrage, the strongest magic spell for sustain. And of course, the higher the magic, the better. You need at least 43 Prayer for Protect from Melee, which alongside Protect Item is the only prayer you really need. You need a Famran Scepter or an Accursed Scepter set for autocast. The increase in accuracy and damage for enemies in the wilderness is just too good to pass on. I would charge it with 1400 Aether. The spec is also nice. The armor we're going to be using is Bloodmark, which requires 60 magic and defense. It amplifies how much you heal from Blood Barrage even further. This armor set is so important. As for gloves, I bring the Tormented Bracelet with 70 plus hit points for more damage, but Bloodmark gloves work too. The Occult is a cheap and powerful amulet requiring 70 magic, so we bring that. And lastly, you can just bring your best cape and best shield for mage as long as you don't risk them. Now the ring doesn't matter too much, but you can bring a ring of wealth if you want to double the rate you get elite clues from the boss. As for inventory, a few restores is nice, just remember you'll typically be getting loads of restores from the boss and the occasional food drop to heal up in between kills, only if you get super low. I'd also bring runes for blood barrage, ice barrage for PKers, as well as bruise and some hard food to survive PvP encounters. Bring a looting bag for the drops, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, and a teleport to teleport away from 20 plus wilderness, so a roll seed pod or charge, glory, ring of wealth, any of those. Another recommendation is having a high hit points level, as this will reduce the chance of your health going critical. Now bear in mind, there is a bit of a gear risk when bringing this setup, even with protect from item on, so be mindful of that with PKers. Do not go full AFK, because you can die. But that's basically the method. Credit goes to my friend Draco for this. I hope this method proves useful to some players. But with that said, until next time guys, farewell.